So Alex wanted to know how to graph two equations and find the intersection on your calculator. So here is podcast that explains how. Turn your calculator on, hit y equals to get to that screen where you enter the, your equations. You have to have them in the form y equals. Okay? So that's the first thing to do if you've got like 2x plus 3y equals 7. You've got to do some algebra to make it y equals. Uh, I'm just going to make up a couple equations uh, that are already in form y equals. I'm going to make up 2x minus 3. And you can see over here all the key presses. So if you can't follow along, you can look over here, or you can just rewind this. Okay? Then I'm going to go down to the next line, to y2, and I'm going to make up, uh, let's make something with a negative slope. Like negative, uh, let's make it 1 half, so 0.5x and let's make it plus one All right. and press the graph button and you see the graph but not a very big very good picture of the graph okay right. uh, let's change the window so we get a better picture it looks like these are intersecting somewhere around here somewhere kinda close to the x-axis so I'm gonna go back to the window and the x was fine but if my y is just from 0 to 10 I'm not actually seeing that intersection, so I'm going to go on the y from a minimum of, let's just say negative 10 to 10 to keep it balanced. So negative 10. Hit enter. Go back to the graph. Now we get a better picture. It's still maybe a little bit big, right? Um, so let's go back to the window. Let's, on the x, not go all the way out to 5. Looks like it crossed even before 2, so let's just go out to 2 on the x-axis and go back to that graph. Eh, maybe I've zoomed in a little bit too much. Let's uh, change the window again. Let's change the y. So this negative 10 to 10, that's huge, and I really only care about, I don't know, maybe negative 5 to 5 there. So let's try that. Negative 5, 2, 5. There's a better graph. So we want to find the intersection of those two. And you can keep playing with the window if you want, or you could zoom in differently to uh, check that out here. I'll show you one thing. Here you can zoom with a box. So that's the first option. Let's hit Enter. And you just draw a box. So let's put our pointer where we want our box to start. Hit enter and then draw the box that we want the window to be. Takes a little while to hit the keys enough time. There we've got an even better graph. Alright, so that's a nice zoom. We can see pretty close where that is. Let's calculate exactly where it is. Second, and it's the trace button, but above the trace is calc, which is short for calculate. Right? We want that fifth option, which is intersect. Right? It's going to ask you three questions. First curve, second curve, and guess. Uh, curve is a little bit misleading because we've actually got lines, but they could be curves. Um, the first curve, it's guessing, is y1, 2x minus 3. That's what we want, so let's hit enter. It could be you had a whole bunch of different y values up here, but we've only just got two, so it's pretty easy. The second curve, there's only one other option, y2, right? negative 0.5x plus 1. Let's hit enter to say, yeah, that's our second curve. The guess, let's, we can press left and right to get that cursor pretty close to the intersection. This just means your calculator is going to find it quicker. And if you hit enter, it'll tell us the exact intersection is 1.6.2, which you should be able to verify with some algebra. So that would be a good test for you. Good luck.